Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna create how to mimic sunlight or daylight using directional light using Arnold renderer. So here I'm using this room. Uh, I can provide it into the uh, description so that you can download and practice on your own. So let me import this room. Okay here is the room. So I will select all of these by dragging my left click or you can press ctrl shift or a and i will apply a default uh, lambert or standard surface okay so after that i will create my camera angle so and uh, before that i will enable my film gate and also i will create a camera within this view or we can press go shift C right there and after that I will select my camera control A for attributes and I will rename it short cam right and after that I will also go to my attributes of this camera and I will display my resolution so that uh, you know you you can know that this the, within this rectangle this much of my information will be rendered so I will create a let let me lock my camera also and I will create a directional light so go to create lights and directional light and also let's scale the light remember only the orientation of directional light will change our lighting effect okay so you can scale you can move it will not affect the light only the orientation of the light okay so let's go to our shot cam and open up our attributes so here is the arnold and here is the directional let me write, rename it to light and uh, I will use color temperature around 5500 okay exposure around 4 and let's take a test render So as you can see this is our you know test camera render so first of all we can notice that the scene is very very noisy and also the scene is dark in enclosed areas right and also we can notice the shadows is very very harsh so in that case what we will do is First, we will adjust the shadows. Okay, so let me take a snapshot of this. Right, and let me stop the render. So, there is an op option in light that is called angle. So, angle is the physical, acu physically accurate uh, represent representation of sun substance di direction. So, what is this? Is it is a value of a degree, right? The default uh, degree of the angular uh, direction of sun is 0 0.5 so let me put in the value 0 0.5 and also now take a test render so as you can see right now the shadows has become very very soft right now and comparatively to the uh, render before so let's the render to be finished we can easily compare okay so now i take a snapshot and this is my snapshot before as you can see it's very 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 harsh the shadows are very very harsh 
and now the snapshot as you can see is nice smooth here you can see it's nice and smooth although we are losing some of the shadow details so that may be compensated or after you know adjusting the noise and the gi so i will go to arnold sorry render settings and here in arnold renderer i will increase the camera samples to four diffuse samples to four right and i will also disable the volume interact because we do not have any atmosphere right also we do not have any subsurface scattering so i will make it disable also we do not have any trans transmission or any reflection so we'll disable it because this will dramatically increase our render times sorry dis dis decrease our render times and also we will go to ray depth and we will increase it to 2 it is basically the gi global illumination it will bounce of the lights two times that fuse will be bounced two times so let's take a rent quick test render now we can see our render is getting you know a little bit of bright as well as the noise is pretty much clear right now as you can see our render has been finished and uh, I will take a snapshot quickly and let's compare it to the first render so you know very very noisy and dark in the corner and after making our shadows soft this is our render number two and after that the we introduced some you know denoising and gi and after that our scene is quite bright our shadows is soft and also we pretty much uh, you know clear some noise right so this is it you can always you know increase your camera AA samples to around 5, 6 and diffuse also 5 or 6 maybe 6 and here 6 and final you know go already to 3 so you will get a pretty much result depending upon your you know settings that you play on so here it is our daylight lighting okay so if you like the video please subscribe share and you know comment on the video and i'll be coming with nice tutorial or uh, advanced tutorial on arnold and vray and also i will try to create some modeling tutorial because many of you are requesting modeling tutorial on uh, curves and uh, splines in maya so yep bye bye